Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Andrew and this is Ukrainian Channel. In this episode, we are playing, of course, Civilization VI with China and we have a lot of work to do. In the previous episodes, we managed to colonize all our uh, continents, so the north of this very, very big uh, mass of land that we share, by the way, with Korea, Phoenicia and uh, France. Very important. We have been attacked by Korea. Korea declared war on us. And uh, I, I must say, honestly, uh, uh, it was not so difficult to, to defend. We had to put in place, of course, some measures. Um, I implemented Victor as, um, as governor. Uh, I built the walls in Shanghai so that I could really... Uh, destroy uh, the enemy and uh, as you can see now also the military power of uh, Korea is extremely low and we are surprisingly catching up always, almost also with, with France <coughs> I'm sorry um, I wanted to uh, play this game in a let's say peaceful way and uh, don't forget we are playing on uh, deity which means the most difficult level of this game and the artificial intelligence here is really cruel is really really cruel um, I have here two choices I have two scenarios in front of me in the first scenario I focus my uh, resources to attack uh, Korea and I try to get Yangsan maybe also Gyeongju is it possible? Of course it is, but it will require a lot of time and resources. The second option is we, uh, we seal a, a, a peace deal with Korea. We ask a reimbursement, of course, but uh, the, good, the, the thing is that then we can focus only of, on our civil development and in the long run we will overtake those guys. I'm not sure. I didn't decide yet. What I think is that most likely I need to see how is Yangsan defended. The defense level of the city is 42. Just as an example, uh, Shanghai is stronger than Yangsan, but Yangsan has no um, walls. So let's go to the next turn and now let's go there and explore. I might sacrifice also unity if, I, if it if it happens. And Buenos Aires is also supporting. Buenos Aires is our city, is allied with us. Now that we have a catapult, now that we have a, a cavalry, I think it could be possible, very, very honestly, I think it's not that big deal to take that city. I just don't want to waste more than five, six turns to do that. That's my only concern. I can, I could buy a, a crouching tiger which is a ranged medieval unit uh, uh, with high combat strength. Okay. This is not bad. I can also build a swordman and a horseman, and I'm going to do that. The great library has been built. Pity because I love it, but I'm focusing on something different now. In four turns, I might have the pyramids in, Chang in uh, Changsha, and this is going to be a game changer. I will explain you when uh, later when we see the pyramids. To be honest, uh, I hope it's going to work. Taiwan is getting this and the fish. Wonderful. Wonderful, really. What else? Next turn. Those guys here, they have um, they have a knight and uh, I am I'm scared. Uh, this was a misclick. This archer really ended up in the wrong place, in the wrongest place ever. Okay, it seems, it seems, guys, that Yang San is not defended at all. Um, why is this happening in such a high difficulty level? Well, I believe that the problem here is that the Koreans are trying to attack Buenos Aires, are trying to attack me. Uh, they, uh, they really lost um, a big part of their units. I'm not saying all their units, no, that's not the case, but a lot. So... Let's see, this archer can stay here. 
If I attack, this is a major defeat. I need to, to figure out a way to get on the other side to... Um, actually, I might just... Here, being pillaged again. I hate this pirate chief. I need to figure out a way to go on the other side. Otherwise, uh, the city will always heal when I attack that. And uh, that's not going to be... That's, that's going to be bad. Let's power. Uh, let's yes, upgrade our spearmen into a um, pikeman, which is going to be very effective against uh, uh, um, heavy knight. And let's go towards education. The horseman here in Shanghai is completed. Let's build the swordman. And let's wait. Which improvement do we have here? Ah, the, 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 yes, of course. I know which improvement we have. We have a fantastic <laughs> Chinese great wall, but only a little please. Okay, let's work the, the fish. I think that even if Yangsan is so, so, so weak, uh, it's not going to be so easy to, to get control okay our arches is gone I knew that but It's just not possible to take it this way. I need to go and, and block also this part. Let's see, let's wait a couple of turns and then we will decide, we'll take a decision. Nine turns. We don't need this citrus at the moment, so that's fine. This guy can stay here and wait and sleep. Fine. Now the catapult is going in. They offer uh, a peace, and uh, I uh, decline the peace treaty. Yes, we have the pyramids, and now the game is changing a little bit, and I can explain you why. Let's look at this animation, which is always so spectacular. I love Wonders in the Desert. I don't know why. I don't know why, guys, but I love them. So, the pyramids. The pyramids. Let's look for that. Um, they grant a free builder. Okay. But all builders can build one extra improvement. And that means that now... Every builder that we are going to, to have is going to have the plus one of China and the plus one of the pyramids for a total of five builds. As soon as we will introduce the feudalism, we will move to seven builds and builders can boost also, yes, wonders. That means that with a little bit of money, we will be able to bring home all the wonders we want. Believe it or not, guys, this is amazing. And now look at that. We continue with the um, with the Chinese uh, wall, and uh, in Changsha we have uh, one tie which is providing plus ten gold, plus four uh, culture. That's why I need now to build uh, here and to buy. Maybe it's an easier uh, a trade route, a trader. Uh, we are gonna do it in the, in the next turn, which is going to bring food to Changsha. Uh, so that the city can uh, can grow without a massive use of food tiles, and uh, to do that maybe a granary is also it's also a good idea.
Okay, four, three. Okay, this guy is going to Wangzu. We have the tobacco, we have the crabs. And now Xi'an is building a builder just in time. I think I need a different technology. I forgot. Of course, I don't have shipbuilding. I cannot. Uh, I cannot embark my my troops. I believe that uh, taking Yangshan, um, given this situation, is basically not possible. Of course, I can do some experience. Okay, but I cannot take it. Not yet. Not now. I think I'm going to ask for uh, a peace treaty and maybe I will... Uh... Okay, they're gonna give me 9 per turn, Mercury, Jade and 1 vote in exchange of peace. We are going to keep them. They are going to be weak and uh, now we don't have to worry about them anymore for a little while. Fine. We have a builder in Xi'an. We go right away for the Huei Teokali. Plus one amenity for um, entertainment for each lake tile within one tile of you or of uh, Huei Teokali. Plus one food and plus one production for each lake tile in your empire. Must be built on a lake adjacent to land. So, if now... I build the Weteo Kali in one of those uh, tiles. Uh, I will have plus three amenity. So Xihan now has to buy this tile here. I, I'm sorry, I need to do that. I, I cannot wait. And I'm going to set the wonder here. The first thing I do with my uh, builder is to go here and I cannot boost it. Are you kidding me? Maybe I have to wait the next turn. I don't know why. Anyways, we, there is not so much we can do. Let's build our aqueduct as we uh, considered here. And now the horseman goes to uh, Xihan. The chariot stays here. The catapult stays here on the border. This guy goes to Wangzu. This other guy to Zhao Dong. You go a little bit in Xihan, but just an, oh no, oh man, uh, I need to move here from here. Good. I, I think I can do that anyways. Um, in Shanghai, we can have the Swordman. Now we have 292 as a military strength, which is uh, better than Phoenicia and Korea. Uh, it's similar to France, so we can focus on other things and uh, those guys should not be too aggressive. Maybe the problem is the follow the problem. Maybe the topic is the following. Maybe uh, I can boost uh, wonders only if they're on the ground. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I will. I will see. In any case, this wonder is very important for me, so I need to bring it home. Now we do some uh, uh, micromanagement. Okay, so the bastions can go away. Let's keep the conscription. The maneuver can also go away. Let's take the retainers, plus one amenity for every garrison unit. The colonization can absolutely go away. Um, and we take the Ilkum, plus 30% production toward builders. The Corvée remains because we need the two uh, build wonders. And now our units, yeah, yeah, I cannot, I cannot boost it. This is, this is so bad. <laughs> I didn't know that. I feel so stupid. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I feel so silly now. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, wonderful. We need food. We definitely need food in this city. Maybe Petraia was better than there, but uh, I don't know if I would manage it in time. So, 
I think so far uh, what we have is okay. Let's move here. Do we have enough? Uh, do we have enough gold to to grab it from Guangzhou? Thirteen turns. And then here, perfect. Library of Zhao Dong, it's gone, it's done, it's fantastic. Uh, now we get the builder. No, actually, uh, we need to think in a different way. Or no, yeah, a galley. We need to protect our shores, unfortunately. Uh, that's something that I have to keep in mind. Next. The Forbidden City is gone. The Forbidden City is very, very, very good. Wow, F fantastic. So let's go on the micromanagement now. We're growing even if we don't have a lot of housing. Um, I see that we have a mine which is not used. Uh, we need to, to uh, build a mine here. Guangzhou. Guangzhou definitely needs access to this tile and uh, also the other uh, ties but that's okay let's move so Jiao Dong is working here we need uh, some uh, sawmills this guy is doing very well it's this little but we have Suna Builder this guy is also doing very well here we can say stop focusing on your food because anyways I, I locked him so there, that's not so much room for discussion and then Xi'an again look at that look at that look at that I cannot even see exactly what's in here I I <laughs> Okay, I can see it from here. This time <laughs> of desert close to... Oh man, I, I really need to take a screenshot of desert uh, um, close to a natural wonder with Petra and uh, a piece of uh, um, Great Wall is providing with four culture, two food, ten gold and one production. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Wow, it's unbelievable. Let's continue. It's just wow. This crossbowman, yeah, this, this, he, he can go back. We have still one boost, and uh, we are going to use it probably on this mine here. Okay, let's have a quick look at the um, potential for trade. Of course, we have tobacco that we can uh, give away. Let's see if Dido is interested. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Catherine is better because she likes to have her... No, she has already tobacco. Let's go back to Dido. One and three. Pa, it's not that good, but it's better than nothing. Let's get back to Catherine because now I have a lot of um, diplomatic favors that I can sell. Let's say 20. Yes. And let's do the same with Dido. We need to keep uh, the balance because we cannot uh, lend all, all our votes to one a civilization to the fact that then they would be too strong. So if I sell my votes to everybody equally, I'm not saying that at the end is the same, but you know what I mean. I can buy, I can purchase a builder with faith soon. That's so nice. I mean, soon in ten turns, but still, at least one. What if I do, if I go here and I build also uh, the Great Wall? I could build the Great Wall all around the desert. 
and uh, this is going to provide a lot of gold uh, in uh, the desert of Guangzhou. That's also something you have to consider, right? And I need also to, to buy, uh, to get the trade route and I forgot, so this should be starting from Xi'an this time. Good. Now Guangzhou should use also. Look at that. Look at look at the power of Petra. So now those only those four Petra powered up ties are providing so much production, so much gold. Uh, this is unbelievable. I love this wonder so much. I mean, I told you already five thousand times. So now I shut up. Okay, we have the boost on feudalism soon. Which I'm going to take after theology, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to, to chop this forest uh, so that Xi'an will have a little boost at least. Um, I need to wait for having a little bit more gold, but I, do, I will do that. You can go here and be the guy. Next. Perfect. And we have our first naval unit. Great. Let's have a look at the policies. Maintainers, retainers, il cum corve. Yeah, let's keep it as it is. We can also explore. Oh, Jesus. That's bad. That's very bad. Zhao Zhang now uh, builds um, uh, a builder. And our envoy should go... Let's let's stay close to Buenos Aires. Wow. Did you notice? One, two, three, four. I'm just I'm just dead. Oh Jesus. I hate this. I, I deeply hate this. I deeply, deeply, deeply hate this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, uh, to, to make it simple, here I have purse that I cannot even protect. I, I, you know what I need? I need this. I need this. And I, I will move one. I oh know this is better. I will move one unit. Uh, and I will defend this city with a, with a crossbowman. Pff, annoying, seriously annoying. Boom. The Portala Palace was not built yet, and I think also the no the Forbidden City was uh, the Portala Palace was not. And the Alhambra was not. They're all good. Let, let, let's go for the astronomy, but we don't have... Okay, let's go to the shipbuilding and then astronomy. And now Shanghai can build a trader. And then let's see for the um, production district. Alicarnassus, finally, this is something I really wanted. I can do it, but I need uh, uh, maybe a builder first that will destroy this, this forest here. I will build Alicarnassus here. And here we can go for the Temple of Artemis. What is it doing? So, each camp, pasture, and plantation improvement within four tiles of this wonder provides plus one amenity. Look how many uh, we have one and two. So, I think it's good, quite good, right? Let's do this. Let's start with the granary and then we will switch once we get rid of this forest. <clears throat> yeah, now I want to play a little bit with the Chinese wonders because they're just wonderful. <sighs> Life is so tough. Nine, 
turns, that's so great. Okay, guys, I think I will stop here. Mm, so far, so good. The war is over. Everything works fine. Guangzhou is a great city. Changsha is going to be a great city as well. Xi'an uh, uh, is our capital, probably is underdeveloped because we focus so much on the play tall and then overexpand in the, in the range of 30 turns. But it worked pretty well because <coughs> now all our cities, all our, let's say, colonies, which started with a builder with four builds are already well developed and they're already working on their districts, on their wonders. So that's fantastic. Obviously, we need now to push a little bit more and build districts also in Guangzhou, Changsha, Taiwan, Handan, and not only in Xi'an, Shanghai and Zhaodong, but we are going to do it in the next episode. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate it and see you next time. Please don't forget to leave a like if you appreciated the video. See you soon.